the best free video editing software for Windows or for PC. Now these are my top five and I have a little bit of criteria, right? First off, uh, I have a i5 laptop with 8GB of RAM with a graphics card, so I do not want to upgrade my hardware, right? So they are actually very powerful software that you can get nowadays, but it may require you to upgrade your computer. Now, first off, if you are new to video editing, you probably would have heard about Movie Maker. What's good about Movie Maker is actually it is uh, free, it is built into Windows, so you can actually do some basic splits, cuts, transition, joining up videos, all that is available. Uh, what I found about Windows Movie Maker that it is very basic, it takes quite a while just to even import a video into Movie Maker before you start video editing. Uh, it feels a little bit clunky and it doesn't have an interface that feels like a professional video editor. The next up at number four is actually YouTube editor. Well, in YouTube, there is also a very basic editor. The features are quite limited. You can uh, trim off the beginning or the end of your video. Uh, you can add music. You can stabilize your video and that's probably about it, right? So, of course, you can do some color adjustments and brightness, contrast. So, it is really not for serious video editing work. At third place, I will put Blender. Now, Blender is actually a 3D compositing software. It is a really powerful piece of software and you can create an entire animated video with Blender. And there are some who have just done that and it really looks professional. On the flip side of Blender is that Blender is actually has a quite a steep learning curve. I've watched over an hour of video tutorials and I still couldn't really get the hang of moving things around and I have to re-watch some of the videos. At the end, I got frustrated and I stopped using Blender. Powerful software, but it is maybe a little bit too complicated. Next up at number two is Lightworks. Now, Lightworks has a long history in video editing. There are famous movies made, uh, edited with this uh, software. Uh, it almost checked all my requirements. Right, you can do splits, cuts, transitions, chroma key. Uh, there are some caveats. For the free version, you can only export up to 720p videos for normal videos. However, uh, lately, the, it allows you to upload up to full HD at 1080p if you upload to Vimeo. Uh, there could be a workaround. Maybe you can upload your video at 1080p to Vimeo and then later download that video back into your computer and upload it elsewhere. But uh, again, the interface feels a little bit old. I find that it's quite difficult to use, although I've used it occasionally on a few to you know, test out things. Uh, it is good. It can uh, it have quite a lot of features. But again, unless you pay for the software, you have some limitations as well. Now, which brings me to my top choice at this point in time. The top choice for me is actually Shortcut App. It is the software that I've used and I have actually used it extensively for the last six months after trying so many different types of software. Now, I have tried Sony Vegas, I have tried Movie Maker, I have tried Sony Movie Studio and a host of other software. So I have a good idea what software are pretty easy to, to get started. So Shortcut actually takes all these marks, right? Uh, it is quite easy to learn if you are new or even if you have some basic experience with video editing, the software interface, you can actually pick it up very fast. It is very intuitive how to cut videos, join things, you can drag things around very easily, no strange key, uh, keyboard shortcuts that you need to use. Um, it does picture-in-picture, picture, chroma key. So, and in fact, I like it so much that I created an entire demo video and also an entire course on how to use a shortcut for anyone looking for a free video editor. Now, what is the con of the software? There are some occasional crashes, but uh, most video editing software will encounter that occasional crash. All right, so my choice at this point in time would be a shortcut app, right? It is free, it is cross-platform, right? So you don't need to, if you are using different type of OS uh, for your editing, you can move from computer to computer, so it should be able to work as well. So there you have it, my top five video editing software and my choice. Now I suggest that you take a look at my demo video. Uh, I made with shortcut. One last thing, uh, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, head on, go to uh, click on subscribe and, and follow me when uh, I have new videos being released. And also head on over to my website uh, and subscribe to my email newsletter as well. So this is James. Hope you find the best video editor to suit your needs.